role of the principal in Montgomery County Public Schools is large and encompasses... Depending on the day, I'm here, I'm there. Looking at uh, operations. Outside at recess. I have standing meetings or check-ins with different people. We're looking at security. Or if we have a student in crisis. Supporting paras. With my security team leader. Parent-teacher uh, relations. Visiting classrooms. Um, Teacher-student relations. With my business administrator. Uh, making sure we have building service staff. All of that is happening every day. The most significant role and the primary responsibility of the principal and the many leaders at each school is instruction. This work is a primary focus so that students can reach their academic potential. I have found that over the years to get the most out of your leaders and your educators in the building, the, the work has to be shared. So you, you have to have a good team around you. You have to have strong assistant principals who help with the instructional leadership piece. You have to have a strong staff development teacher. And really my role here at Burnt Mills um, from the day I started is to grow and develop teacher leaders so that they in turn can go into the classroom and provide um, intentional and explicit instruction that's going to move our students. Some students might be ready to move to the pictorial level, yeah. whereas others are still in the concrete. Right. And we also need to recognize that you know we have students who are... I operationalize instructional goals uh, throughout my building in many ways, and I like to look at them as um, leadership best practices. Um, I have a staff development teacher who um, is a master scheduler. I have a reading specialist who is very hands-on. Um, I have team leaders who I rely on every day to share my vision and my message. Um, it's very clear that they are focused in the work that they do and they're very serious about making sure students have what they need at every level. We have to hold one another accountable um, as teachers for the students that we serve, all of the students. So we have a culture here at Burnt Mills where if we hear something that it, we want to challenge, we feel comfortable to challenge another teacher. We've been walking through each other's room with an emphasis on peer visits. When teachers walk through other teachers' room, both teachers benefit. I think at the core of it, I think every single student deserves a chance to have an opportunity and this laid, the work we do here lays the foundation for students to have opportunities later on in life. The data targets, the achievement targets, and you really do a great job of taking that and personalizing it for your specific department. Instructional leadership to me means building the capacity of, of the leaders you do have in the building so that they can um, do the, some of the heavy lifting and carry the load that needs to be carried. It also uh, involves trust. It involves making sure that people uh, are made to feel that you trust them with uh, carrying out this most important work. Historically, it used to be a few people would come up with a plan and everybody would implement. Well, our approach to it this year is everyone is helping in creating the plan. And then if you're helping in creating the plan, then you own the plan. It just, it feels good, you know, it feels good to be on a, on a, a team that feels like you're united and um, in your vision and in your work. My passion for instructional leadership is beyond words. I've really developed a, a great love of learning and a, a passion for seeing students achieve, and I love what I do. There was a, an effective use of space in an observed art classroom. It's important to provide the structure, provide teachers and teacher leaders in the building with very clear direction as to what the plan is and, and why, why we are doing it, to communicate, communicate, communicate. When great teaching is happening, then Great learning is happening, great feelings are happening. It's just really important for the principal to prioritize that part of a teacher's profession. Very often the principal is, is the model, is the source of, of the movement, the progress. So if you have a lack of commitment to that progress, unfortunately it sends a message that whatever the initiative is or whatever the goal is doesn't have the significance or importance. So therefore the surrounding commitment is going to falter as well. We're on the work. We're on the work of moving our data, making changes in what's happening at Rockville High School through our instructional practices. I'm passionate about being the principal here at Burnt Mills 
and I think it shows um, every day in my walk and in my talk and if nothing else I lead by example. It's a difficult job it's not easy uh, but it it's so rewarding uh, on so many levels. Your staff rises to the occasion every day when the leader is passionate.